Hi, my name is Natalia and I'm coming to you from Denmark and this is my knitting podcast. Yep, I am again wasn't here quite a long time. We moved to another city, so I'm in my new uh, living room. Yes, it's not quite finished yet, so... I'm trying to podcast by sitting on the floor near my sofa. <laughs> yep. We go with what we got for now, but uh, yeah, um, I didn't have a lot of time for making new projects. But then I actually finished some and decided that uh, I want to show them um, before I get something too much and then it's too long and I don't remember how that was going. So I'm not wearing any knitted item today because it's actually quite warm. It's quite cold in the mornings already. So normally I'm wearing some sweater or cardigan in the mornings, but when it's going more in a day that is taking it out. So I figured out that I have why not that much cardigans in my wardrobe as I want so my plan for now is to go to need more cardigans but I will show you what I have in my finished objects for today so I will start with the socks I have two pairs of shorty socks and I put them um, one of each on another sock blockers. They made it from the same yarn. I had a ball of um, Regia uh, cotton sock yarn. It's look like that. And the number is, oh, it's have color. It's have color. It's called Cotton Color Tutti Frutti 2. Yep, it's like lemony, limey colors. It's kind of like different stripes of uh, green, light green, uh, yellow. Then there is coming some, yep, I think you can see this pattern with white and yellow. And like that. So I prefer to knit my socks from top. So I cast first socks with short row heel. That's my preferred method. And I have, no, this is not that one. I have two, oops. So I start with toe, then measure how much I need until the heel and actually in this yarn I need more rows as I do in my wool sock yarn so the cotton sock yarn is not that stretchy I didn't wash it yet so I don't know how that will be here after I wash but I don't think that will significantly change something so yes so I make one pair with short row heel and it's shortest because I want to wear them when it's warmer and the second pair I made with um, heel flap and gusset, but again, starting with toe and going up. And uh, yeah, I'm going back and forth, sorry. <laughs> so this pair, I think they almost match. So I start in one point and like to the end, it's had almost the same spot when they finished Yes, it's like almost the same. But the second pair, what I had with, had, had made with heel flap, I start, I saw it in the same spot. It looked like that, it was going right, and then in the end, it went completely out. It's like I have full of this uh, yellow and green stripe, and it's not here, and they are the same because I was counting rows, so they're the same amount, so 
I don't know what I make. They look the same, stitch count are the same. I made them one at a time, but like one after another. So there wasn't a big break between them, but yep. But anyway, they are for me. I'm not, I like when socks are matching, but if they're not, they're not. It's not like that I will don't wear them or perfectionist inside me will scream, no. Yep, so, and um, I have size 37 foot, so it's not really big. And 100 gram ball was enough for me to complete two pair of shorties and I have small ball back. I didn't weigh it, but I believe it's like maybe five grams, maybe a little more. I do not know if I can put this in my memory cozy, cozy memory blanket because it's cotton. It's actually cotton with elastan, I believe. Yep, it's 72% of cotton, then 18 polyamide and 10 poly, no, yeah, and 10 polyester. So I do not know, but I can try and see how the squares look. Cause sometimes I experience that some yarn behave differently. So when I put this in my cozy memory blanket, then the square look different. They can be, even though it's the same fingering weight yarn and midridge are the same. The square can be a little bigger or sloppier. I don't know, they will don't look the same. So I do not know. I think after I will wash the socks, I will uh, try to look, I'm uh, not try, I will look if the fabric changed and then we'll find out what to do. Yeah, but two pairs of sock yarn, uh, of socks, shorty socks from this cotton yarn is ready. And I believe I have one more ball uh, in different colors, but also from Regia. So if that's, feel good if I like to wear this, that I have possibility to, to make one more. So yes, that's my two finished objects. Yeah, I believe the pairs of socks is counted like two. They're shorties, but I still think they're just the same socks. You just don't need that big leg like on another. Yes, and I need them using two millimeters, it's not actually here, but it's Adi needles. And I experience really strange things. These Adi needles, what they have, they have like um, golden string. And there is also Adi with red one. Uh, yeah, I bought them both in the shop. So I know that it's not like, yeah, like this one have red line. And there is, can not find that? That another have golden one. And this red, I don't like how it's behave. It's, uh, I don't know, it's look weird and feel weird. It's like have different, it's making themselves in a shape and then holding this shape. E, no. I don't like from now on if I have chance to choose between this red and golden I will choose golden because I didn't like how that worked. Yes, so two millimeters finger and weight, hundred gram was enough for two pairs of shorties and have some leftovers. Yes, so that's my first finished object and I actually finished one more object. I pushed myself to finish it because before I recording. Now when I start the study, the study um, I'm casting more projects would have like stocking and stitch because when I'm reading, I actually can knit simple things. Maybe some ribbing, but uh, it's no color work or no cables, anything like that. So I'm making some socks or my next project, what I already finished, it's a cardigan. 
but it's it have some ribbon and all in all they just stuck in it so even before it was released i really like the pattern it's by vera valamaki it's her i believe last pattern would she released it's called gumsho cardigan if i pronounce this right i don't know the pattern calls for sportwear yarn yarn and uh, it's like oversized cardigan with dropped sleeves i will try to make pictures and insert them and when i'm adding the video because right now i don't know how i can show you but it's actually quite big cardigan um oops it's have drop shoulders um and it's long i make this pattern call this to make shorter but i make this to my knees so it's quite a lot of fabric here and i decide to make a split hem i didn't block this it didn't move all the ends yet but i just finished that and uh, yeah first it was quite hard i like to knit finger and weight yarn i really like this it feels i don't know easy for hands and all time i'm working with heavier yarn it feels like I'm pushing myself and I push my hands. So the yarn what I need this from it's um, Reborn. It's again yarn from shop what's called Garn Osak. It's Danish shop and I believe that it's yarn what was made especially for them. It's uh, they use merino wool and then some fiber what they have left over or the producer have left over i don't know so it's have like tweedy snips like this blue one brown red pink they have really a lot of different so i don't know how good the camera will show this but i really like that it's quite nice to knit because then you get in all these snips and yeah, I like it. I don't know how good it will see in the fabric. Yeah, I think you can see. I know that when I will wash this, the the stitches will look more smooth, not like now. So yeah, I'm not afraid of I make bad job. I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, it's hard to show that card again. It's big. It's warm and nice. Um, the yardage here is 300 meters per 100 gram. And I didn't get, get the gauge I was trying, but no. And I needed on um, three and a half millimeters needles because I like the fabric, how it looks. So actually to achieve the size what I was wanted, I made size one size up because my fabric was, my gauge was smaller. So I will, didn't get the look what the cardigan is. And the cardigan, I believe it's called for, I don't remember, 10 centimeter positive is, I believe so so yes i make size up because my gauge was small and i make the cardigan i hope i will insert some pictures because like that it's not make any sense but it's quite big and i'm happy that i make this i have some yarn left over i have like 100 gram ball and then this maybe it's a half maybe less and lay the little small. I make the head once from this. I believe I used almost one skin. So maybe I can make more heads. I don't know. I'm getting really confused when I had some small amount of yarn left and I don't know what to do with them. So I know that that will go in a stash and will stay there for 
long time and yep and then i know like i have some yarn in the stash but then for new project i will go and buy another one because that one is not good yep so do not know what to do with that we'll try to figure it out because i like the yarn it's quite soft and it's quite warm so yeah i'm looking forward to wearing my cardigan and yep i get it back it's a friend from french supply company i hear that they're going out of business i never had their back and uh, then i saw that one woman was selling her bags from her i don't know stash so she had two of them but one was this uh, not drawstring but this bucket square and i didn't want that one so i decided to get this one for myself yeah uh, yeah because it's possibility to get this i really like to buy sink yeah how to tell this right not especially that was used before but the, the someone already bought this and then don't want that so to don't produce more items if i can use something what already was in use i will gladly do that so yep i'm okay with buying yarn when someone distashing it i'm okay with buying yarn in recycle shops i don't know how you call them thrift shops yes i'm okay with buying yarn there i'm okay with buying furniture like that many things i think it's my first choice if i can have something what already was in use i will do this because I believe that it's like the cheapest way to help for ecology. Yep. So, but uh, yes, now I have this bag. I'm really happy with that. It's gonna hold a lot of yarn. I was knitting this project, so as you can see, it have like, oops, <laughs> not anymore. It's had a lot of yarn and all my sweater, my that cardigan can get there, but it's have one big minus. I cannot have this with me in backpack because it's also the project was heavy and this one is also heavy. It's not heavy, but it's take a lot of space. So yeah, for now it's for me back. I don't know for home for storing stuff, and I don't know maybe going somewhere if you go and buy car so i just bring this here but when i'm going to the university and should have backpack computer and all this thing that's no chance that's no but yeah really happy about my new bag so that was all my finished objects i think it's okay this amount of reading what i should do almost every day and now i will go to my work in progress i have just two work in progress for now i have two blankets with sitting and waiting but i don't do anything about them yes but i recently pick up the project the sweater what was on my make nine for this year it's called twix by junko okamoto i start this sweater early in the year i don't know how good you can see it oh yeah better and my body is done it's all scratched on the needle but my body is done and i'm up to going to start the raving I really like how it look. Oops. I tried. It looked right. I was afraid that it will be too short or something like that. But at least it was looking like that for me. I really like it. <laughs> but it's not. 
and there is like 30 rows of ribbon ribbon so that's long way to go but yeah i believe that ribbon i can do even with while i'm doing my reading yes after i will do the ribbon i need to pick up for sleeves and sleeves again have all this really cool color work so yeah. i really hope to be finished with this until i don't know christmas december will be cool if i'm finished with this with, with this to december but i'm not going to push myself the um, dips so body is done i believe last time i was showing you it was around here and yeah last color work was like why heavy because I believe the pattern repeat is around 28 stitches and there is around 30 rows of this so there was quite a lot of work but yeah I pushed through and I like to do color work I don't know how to do this properly because uh, normally I'm trying a whole two yarns in one hand and then just figure it out how to work between them or I'm just dropping one yarn picking up another and when you have color work when it's like one gray one black one gray one black and seven times like this and after this like three by two by three by two dropping this and picking up that's no joke that's too much of work yeah but again I'm knitting this from really cool yarn it's a host garn but it's noble and it have um, wool and cashmere it's 95 percent of wool and five cashmere but all this wool is that soft all this five percent of cashmere make this so nice but it feels really nice i'm really happy i bought this yarn like a treat for myself uh, because it's not that cheap it cost I don't want to lie I don't know exactly mm, no I don't want to tell exactly I believe it's around seven euros per 50 gram ball I'm not sure I think it's around this but you can always find this on their site, Holst Garn, and then they are sending yarn worldwide. So, yep, that's my work in progress. Really looking forward to continue with that and have it finished. Hope until December. Yep, and my last work in progress I cast on just yesterday. Now I'm living uh, too far from university to the place where, I'm, yeah, from apartment to the university, it's too far. And my son is too big now to me bicycling with him in the back of me. Cannot do this anymore. Uh, yeah, and I decided it's not worth investing in this big bicycle where you have like carriage or wagon in, in in front of you and buses are going quite good here so i'm taking buses every day now uh, so i have some knitting time in a bus and normally it should be something small because i just have a big project in backpack with all stuff what I need for day it's too much so I cast on the socks I bought this yarn it's like simple supermarket uh, I don't have any tag with me but I will try to link my project page and will try to write it there it should be um, striping yarn but so far I make that long and it's still one color 
I was wanted to pull off and look how much exactly I wind this in ball and not ball cake. I was wanted to pull off and look how much exactly I have left of that color, but decide to know. And if I see right, have one, two, three, have four colors, just four colors. And if one repeated that long, I don't know if I will go even through all colors to the end of the sock. But that socks will not be for me it will be for the present and it will be like man size so i cast on 72 stitches and i cast on i will do this cuff down yeah normally i like to make top but i have really big struggle yeah uh, i like to knit socks top but then when i'm finishing it I really like the stretch what I'm getting with um, German German twisted cast on. Yep, I love that cast on. I think I can do this everywhere if there is possible. And normally for my toe up, I'm finish them finishing them with tubular bind off. It's not that stretchy and it is quite stretchy, but uh, this was is more stretchier. That one look okay, feels okay. I prefer this one. So I decided to put, make this socks um, from cuff down because they're not for me and I have plenty yarn, so I will not be afraid that, yeah. It will be too short. I have um, four small skins. It's like fifty gram skin, so I have two hundred. No, yeah, two hundred grams of my stash. That will be plenty for socks. I hope to make two pair of socks and also be done until Christmas. Yeah, but that's all. I'm doing them just in a shop. In a not in a shop. In a bus so i don't know how long that will take me but other of this i believe it was all what i need through this time yep my stash is still in some boxes so I'm normally when I want to knit something, I'm looking through what is available here and like closer. And yeah, I don't have like priority to unpack yarn right away and do all because the apartment is not set up probably yet, probably yet, properly yet. Eps, my word is escaping me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah kind of like all what I had for today I hope you all well and yeah I don't know when I will I will try to make next video in two weeks but we will see how that will go um I'm trying to record now this on my phone but then I don't really know how to add this through there so I will probably look for some videos after this, how to make this and to add pictures, cut up the beginning and the end, at least. Yes, and we'll try to make a links, not like in previous video, I didn't get any chance to make this. Yeah. So that was all. This is.